AITA for asking my parents to consider staying elsewhere after my mom gave me the silent treatment. I, F31, live on a different continent from my parents. Our relationship is complicated because my mom can be controlling and often reacts negatively when things don't go her way. My dad tends to enable her behavior, frequently saying things like, it's your fault, you should apologize to your mother for upsetting her. Recently, they came to stay in my small 400-square-foot studio apartment, despite me suggesting they might be more comfortable in a hotel. My mom, due to cultural reasons a Asian family, feels the need to rearrange my kitchen and take over cooking for me, even though she doesn't give me a choice in the matter. She expects me to be grateful and act as though I'm still a child. For example, she dictates my meals and questions me about when I'm leaving or returning home. Yesterday, I came home from work, and the water in my apartment had been shut off without any prior notice. This has happened before due to my landlord's lack of communication. I was understandably frustrated and muttered about it while submitting a work order. My mom started telling me to calm down, and I, still feeling frustrated, calmly responded, please don't tell me to calm down. I have the right to be upset about this, and my feelings are valid. I did not raise my voice. My mom dislikes when I express myself like this and reacted by throwing what she was holding to the ground and giving me the silent treatment. Before doing so, she said, well, I have the right to feel things too. How dare you talk to me that way, and then refuse to speak to me for the rest of the night, even skipping dinner. This morning, they left for a short trip but will be returning to stay with me again. While waiting for their taxi, I asked my mom if she planned to continue ignoring me when they returned. She didn't respond. I told her, this is the only time I'll bring it up. There's no point in visiting me if you're going to ignore me the whole time. She responded by saying, fine, then we won't stay with you when we get back. We'll find somewhere else to stay. My dad then began blaming me, saying it was my fault for being upset yesterday and that I was throwing a tantrum and trying to force her to talk. Frustrated, I told him, if you really feel that way, maybe you should reconsider staying with me when you get back. AITA for saying that?